Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? How are you guys? I hope y'all have had a great week. Thank you so much for your patience. I've been traveling this week, of course, for work, so just getting back. Anyway, hopefully all is well. Okay, I don't know why I'm here in termite. Maybe somebody needs to have, I don't know, somebody going through some kind of evaluation on their home or something. Maybe someone needs to look at that. Termites are present. I'm not sure why that jumped out. Let's see. Termites. Termites eat. Maybe something's eating away. Maybe it's metaphorical. Perhaps something's eating away at your stability or something. Your home. Your stability. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this will be a general collective reading as always. Okay. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest. We will start with what is the T. Thank you from another deck it said child by the way so that was actually another deck look at this first card out is obsessive lover okay i can't wait to see what's happening here so this is the what's the tea deck so we have dangerous toxic unhealthy possessive karmic great Let's see what this is about giving money spiritual hater what okay <laughs> creativity uh, I see moving here it just split on moving somebody could actually be moving that's interesting because I just mentioned termites too maybe somebody is seriously having their house appraised or something like that and that might be something you want to look into just to make sure there's no issues with the structure or something of the home I'm not sure why that would come up look at this dirt digging Okay, but whose obsessive lover is this? Maybe, oh, okay, let's see. Spiritual hater, creativity, dirt digging. Mm, jackpot, okay. I just split on jackpot too. So maybe you have something going on here where you're coming into something, coming into some kind of money. I'm going to shift this just a minute, Sage. Forgive me for that, but I can see that it's a little... I want it to be able to capture all the cards, especially since I end up putting down so much, so many. Uh, you may be hitting some kind of jackpot. You saw the card anyway. I'm not going to look it back up. You you may be coming into some kind of money. Maybe somebody knows that. I also see give money here as well. So we saw a jackpot here, which could be like a lump sum of money or getting money. Maybe it could also be in the form of a raise or you know it could be a lottery ticket anything like that it could be some kind of windfall that you're getting it could also be you could be cashing out something honestly it could even be something like a 401k or something I do feel like somebody's getting something getting some kind of money all right well I, I don't know what's happening here because I feel like somebody is trying to get some kind of information on you. If you're doing anything creatively, somebody could be trying to steal. It looks like steal your ideas here, copy your work in some way, duplicate you. Definitely feed off of your energy, which is interesting here because I'm not sure why someone would want to feed off your energy if they don't like you. If you're a really spiritual person or if you're into things like that, it could even be tar tarot or something like this. This could simply be telling me that somebody is judging you very harshly. For something like that but they're trying to find something on you looking for dirt on you or maybe you're looking for dirt on someone else here something around you though appears to be toxic that's what it says something around you interesting it's so interesting I used termite and then I said maybe something is chipping away or eating away at something it could be your energy your creativity it could also be trying to impact your, your money your stability is what i said so maybe in form of your money or something wow so a spirit straight up called them a termite <laughs> if this is a person a termite okay so um oh okay let's let's keep going and see what this reading is going to be about tonight it's been a great week, I feel like, with lots of shifts. So hopefully we're coming out of that stuff here. Okay, we've got a chariot in reverse. This is somebody who feels out of control maybe about something. Is this an ex-lover? It says obsessive lover. Is this a obsessive lover of someone who maybe you're 
who gives you money or an obsessive lover of, I mean, I have a queen of wands here actually in reverse of somebody who you're dealing with. Let's see. And maybe it's your obsessive lover. Just someone who feels out of control. Um, definitely somebody who you could have been in some kind of passionate uh, situation with, or this could definitely just be somebody who's a bit promiscuous, a little bit out of control. Not a little bit. This seems like somebody that's out of control. I have the, the, um, the chariot here in reverse. Maybe they're seeing you here. Maybe you're coming across here in this King of Pentacles energy. We saw give money to. This may be somebody that you were tied to financially. I feel like obsessive love. This could be a third party energy too. So please just take it as it resonates. If there was some kind of karmic involved in some kind of relationship that you might be having, that there seems to be an issue here. Okay. Somebody wants to be tied to somebody maybe that you are seeing, somebody that you're dating here. And this person is feeling real out of control about something. So maybe this is a current relationship here. Five of Swords. Interesting. Maybe this person is... Okay, this gives me... Okay, this definitely gives me the indication here that somebody is trying to start something with you. Maybe even be aggressive, start an argument. Um... But nothing's working. Five of Swords here in reverse this is definitely someone who feels like, listen, this is not working. My anger, my rage, my need to win at any cost is it's just not working out for me. Somebody here could be feeling like a fool in some way. I feel like somebody's exposed or something or getting exposed. I feel like somebody feels like you know something about them. You know something that is happening, perhaps. Hmm. I feel like somebody feels like you know something about them. So you may already know who this is here. Now, this could be an ex-lover here, but it could also be a karmic that's attached. Your ex-lover could be karmic, number one. Or it could be a karmic, I guess, that's attached to an ex-lover. Somebody that's definitely hating on your light quite a bit and your creativity is what I'm getting. It's almost like... Hmm, I feel like you got somebody here that really wants to cast shade on something that you've been able to accomplish here. And maybe they know that you have something that's coming to you, Sag, or something big or something that's monetary that's going to boost you up in some way and they're trying to prevent that. It could also be some kind of King of Pentacles energy, okay? This could definitely be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. It could be a family member, but whoever it is, it's a karmic, okay? It's toxic. Somebody feels like you know something here about some foolish act uh, actions, I feel like, that they've taken here, that they've not been successful at, it looks like. It looks like somebody here feels like they haven't been able to get the result that they wanted here. But it's almost like they're trying to avert a tower. They don't want other people to know about it, which makes me wonder if you're telling other people about it. Hang on one second. All right. Well, look at that devil coming right out. More Capricorn energy. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. What else, spirit? King of Cups in reverse. Okay. This could be somebody around your work area. Um, it could be somebody that you had some kind of commitment with, some kind of contract with. Wow, I see a lot of people around you. Let me see. Broken hearted. Wow. <laughs> Sag, look, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but obviously it looks to me like it's ensconced in some kind of you know, devil energy here. Okay, so it's definitely, I mean, it could definitely be a lot of toxic energy around it, a lot of bad habits around it. This is somebody who was trying to get something from you, okay? And I feel like that did not work out. Maybe they wanted you to give them money, okay? Um, I do feel like this is someone who feels like you're achieving something that they need, um, but they're not getting in some way. This is a person that's probably accustomed to getting what they want. Generally, maybe they use their looks, usually their charm in some way to pull people in their promiscuous nature, something like that, but they're not getting it. So if you are getting ahead in some way, just maybe based on your, your brains or you know what I'm saying? Something that you do say, some kind of creative talent that you have, this person feels like that is not happening for them in some way. 
that, that trigger has nothing to do with you as I always like to tell you this person is very emotionally manipulative okay this is somebody that wants something here for nothing here they probably are not willing to work for that they also see other people that are around you maybe that are collaborating with you maybe accepting you I don't know if this is around work or family situation this could also be if you're a new member in a family and what I mean by that is if you're dating someone, and this could be like an ex, okay, you're dating someone, now you're hanging out with their family, stuff like that, and they have someone here that's still hanging out, or somebody here that's kind of obsessing over the situation, doesn't like to see them, this is somebody who depended, I feel like this is somebody who thought they were either going to get something from you financially, or from the person that you're connected to, so are you... I don't know if you are connected to this King of Pentacles energy. You definitely could be. But you could also be coming up in this King of Pentacles energy. It's like the pillar of stability here, okay? And that's what's really stressing someone out. Someone feels heartbroken, okay, over some kind of foolish act is what I feel. And the, <laughs> the worst of all, it looks to me like they feel heartbroken because whatever it was, it didn't seem to work out. And this was definitely, they were trying everything. They were throwing everything against the wall here. Five of Swords Reverse is definitely um, trying to tear someone down at any cost. I want to win at any cost, okay? But instead, I feel like they're they're feeling very left out. They're feeling like they don't have money. They, they probably took a turn for the worse here financially here. And meanwhile, you seem to be working hard. I feel like you might be creating something. You could be working hard on something. This this lady is actually, she has singing bowls. She has candles here. I see books as well. You could be writing. It could definitely be something creative that you're doing, but it could also be uh, raising up in your own business or just doing well around your business. Mm, okay. What else, Spirit? Wow. Okay. You might be dealing with a dark energy around you. This could definitely be the ex of somebody that you're dating or somebody you're about to date. I mean, this looks like it's definitely a karma. They feel very possessive over somebody. It could certainly be a Taurus. I have Taurus energy here as well. I have a lot of things here though, but Taurus energy here as well. They feel very possessive, I feel like, in the most unhealthy way. Maybe over somebody, it could be an ex-wife. It could it, look spiritual hater and then hierophant, you know, in reverse, definitely tells me this is somebody who's pretty unholy is what it looks like, okay? So they just don't like something you're doing. They don't feel like it's right. But this is not a person. This is not somebody who could masquerade as like, well, I'm a Christian or what have you. This is a person who is down here in kind of this devil energy, okay? in the toxicity maybe not liking your light making maybe not liking the way that you're rising up in some way maybe you're doing good things that could be your focus that could be part of your creative nature as well building something that you know has to do with that yeah let's see i don't like this person at all they don't like it that you're getting some kind of love it looks like you're getting some kind of love here from others, some kind of adoration. I feel like somebody here doesn't want that. They don't want you to have equal reciprocity or people helping you out. Okay, this, this goes beyond I dislike you. Okay, this is this is really to another level here is what I feel. But I think, listen, I'm going to back up for a minute. I really feel like a part of their, their issue it's almost like you beat them at their own game. That's what I feel. It's like you you beat me at my own game. You know, you figured me out. It's almost like an embarrassment. Like that is adding to it. That's adding to the problem here. This person could be in heavy judgment right now. <clears throat> Going through some karma of their own. Another problem. You beat them at their own game. Yeah, look at this. Because they know their dubious acts here, okay, have come to light. They know that they're being uncovered. They know that they're being unraveled in some way. So this could be somebody that you know that you're already calling out in some very public way. Whatever it is, I feel like they're feeling very foolish about their antics here because they feel like they're known to you. You've already figured them out. And however you're telling them that, I'm not sure. But it looks like you've already figured them out in some way. Interesting. So this person is trying to level the playing field in some way by trying to dig something up on you because uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. They don't seem to be, fo honestly, they don't seem to be working here with a very cohesive mind. That's what I'm getting. Okay, well, all of this failed. All right, so now I'm going to try and dig something up here on Sagittarius and see if that will, you know, so I can make them look bad, so I can make them look crazy, so I can make them look like they're the one that was doing this or something along those lines. I think it just has to do with hurting your credibility in some way because they feel like you're loved by other people and, and people are giving you some kind of attention and they don't want that. Okay. Let me see if I can get a little bit more from these cards, maybe. Spirit, what else can you tell me about this? <clears throat> yeah, unexpected income. You have something coming in for you. Somebody seems to know about that. It may be as a result of some kind of work you're doing, of some kind of increase that you've gotten. Uh, it could be from your own creativity, main female here. <clears throat> I think it might have something to do with your creativity, with your light. This says magic, power, maybe a spiritual endeavor as well. Maybe you're doing something spiritually here. Look at that main male too. So it could be either. <clears throat> wow. This is somebody that feels in prison. I'm, I'm telling you, somebody, somebody has been found out or they're being found out about something. Something has come to light and it's making someone look real foolish. Okay, maybe it does involve some kind of imprisonment. Maybe it does involve some kind of jail time or something like that. Yeah, because somebody's concerned about that. Hmm, I have an official person on the bottom here. I, all I know is this person is holding one hell of a grudge. Like I said, this is not just, I don't like you. This is someone who's holding one hell of a grudge. I think they tried to take you down in some way. I don't know if they're a official person, a cop, a lawyer, a doctor, you know, someone like that, someone in the military. It could be any of those. Whoever it is, somebody's facing it looks like some kind of legal action, potentially for something that they've done, and they're very concerned about it. So, in respect to that, then, I'm talking about something coming to light. Maybe you are, I don't know if maybe you're testifying or something. This is interesting because I feel like whoever was doing this here, they could be, they could have been painting themselves. This is interesting. Okay, so they could have been painting themselves as the good person or, I don't know. A crazy crazy world that we work with so this could have been somebody that you did work with okay or maybe it's somebody who feels like they've been plugging along hard at some dead-end job and you are walking around here in all this light <laughs> with all your creativity okay and it seems to be working out for you do you see what i'm saying you seem to be getting this money in some way i don't know there definitely seems to be some kind of resentment here and this person has been waiting i don't know why i feel like they've been could they have been trying to get some money from you Saj? and i say that because you have toll and labor here which is really about going into the same job every single day and just feeling like you're just you're working your yourself to the bone and not really getting anywhere it's like a factory job i'm not down on factory jobs but you know it is like that where you're just doing the same exact thing day after day year after year and feeling like you're not getting away, although you've been waiting on it and expecting it to happen, you know, it hasn't happened. Yeah, there's some kind of message or some, <clears throat> something here that appears to be coming out, or maybe that you're finding out about. This could even be people that you left behind in some kind of job that was like that. Maybe that was main, uh, pretty, maybe you guys felt like it was mundane and you were able to break away and start something for yourself, and it looks like you're successful in doing so and you're getting the money. This could be people in that. You're going to hear something about whatever this is. I definitely feel like something's coming to light. And it is going to be about something that was deceptive. Seven of Swords here in reverse. It's going to be about something that was deceptive that was going on around you. This is somebody who focuses heavy on you. I'm going to step away from Lover for a minute because I feel like this is just someone obsessing on you, trying to get something on you. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. I'm going to look into something else, but I'm going to focus on these dummies. Okay. Let's see what we can find out for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to get some cards here. Spirit, just tell me what is coming up for my Sagittarius, then collective. 
beyond the drama. We see you got something good here happening in terms of your work. I really feel, honestly, I feel this so deeply. This card, look, whoever this person is, I feel like that's kind of what they feel like they're going through here. We have judgment here. We have imprisonment here. Somebody is really paying the piper for some stuff. I feel like that they did or was doing maybe. Hmm. This is a person I feel like that was deeply unhappy in their life or with where they are. I'm really focused again on toll and labor because I think that has everything to do with it. So if you got away from something and started working your way up and someone's had to watch that and maybe you also changed a lot. Okay, spiritual hater here. So you could have changed a lot spiritually, you know, spiritually you could have became, um, you know, just more about light, you know. Um, more about stepping into your power. I don't know why someone would feel resentful. Well, I do too, because I think it's triggering to whoever this is. Look at you, full upright. I love it. It's coming up for Sag Spirit. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, they probably know. You might know this too. Look at these cards. Wow, look at this. Look, Sag, this is what it is. I'm asking Spirit what's coming up for you. I'm not even focusing on this person. What it looks like is coming up for you is some kind of new opportunity here. This could definitely be a financial opportunity. It looks like you're going to be able to um, have your choice or something. You're going to be presented maybe with a few options of which way to go here, what you want to do. You may actually be in your head a little bit trying to think this through because it looks like it might be a big opportunity, but it's also going to take a lot of hard work. A lot of dedication. Look at that. But you're going to get there. Queen of Pentacles energy. Very stable. Look at all the pentacles around you. So it really does have me thinking this obsessiveness is more about what you're getting. Maybe it's this is where you came from. I can't believe that this is where you are. That sort of thing. Someone doesn't want you to be painted in this really beautiful light that maybe you're in. They're trying to dirt dig a little bit. They're trying to this is steals you, copies from you, duplicates you, feeds off you in some way. This is about your creativity. Maybe someone's trying to follow what you do and kind of mimic that in a sense to get ahead, but perhaps that's not happening. But the truth is, it's not happening because they're not doing it the right way, okay? It looks like, I mean, their energy is way off. If they're hating on anyone, then their energy is way off, okay? It's hard to create from that standpoint. So I feel like you're moving into a time where you're going to be in incredibly stable look at that oh my god <laughs> incredibly stable look at the, i want you to look at your cards can you see this you have the ace of pentacles knight of pentacles queen of pentacles ten of pentacles okay you're going to be you're going to be presented with an option here to take a chance on something it could be a brand new start it could be something highly creative maybe someone wants to invest in you only thing it's going to require from you is a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, but it's going to get you to this place, this very strong place of stability here. And it looks like with that, obviously, this is all about building a legacy, right? Having everything that you need. So money, stability, feeling like you're kind of, I feel like you're going to feel very set in your life. Or at least on, yeah, I feel like you're going to feel set in your life. I mean, a Ten of Pentacles tells me everything. And by the way, Ten of Pentacles is not just about money. It is, it it does involve money, but it's also about family, like a family legacy, right? Feel very stable to where you can contribute not only to yourself, but to your family and to those maybe that are around you. Um, could, could be from, you know, for generations for that matter. Take care of the ones that you love here, right? Enjoy your life in a sense. Okay, let's look at Sag and Love Spirit. Anything coming up for Sagittarius and Love then? Oh, okay. Anything coming up? Oh, wait, is it the Eight? This is the Eight of Cups in reverse. So you walked away from Love. Oh, I don't know that you're focused on Love. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay. I, okay. You might not be so focused on love right now. Somebody could be watching you, keeping an eye on you in a sense. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. I think you're, I'm sorry, you got a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups. Now I just talked about family legacy. I think you're really focused 
on your family, it looks like, and building yourself up here. I can see that you've walked away from something here um, in the past. I don't know if that's distant or far past here, but I see that you, you walked away from something, and you're really focused right now on your passions, okay, on um, building yourself, on maybe having a good time. Maybe you're out here traveling or exploring in some way. It could be also focusing on your creative endeavors. Look at this page of cups in reverse here. I think what whatever you were dealing with before, and it could very well be this person that's been watching you. I'm not really sure, but I do think that you had someone here that wasn't offering much, but I also get that this is you, Sag. I just feel like you walked away from something and you're not focused on it, especially not something from the past here. You don't want to go back to the past, it looks like, because you feel like whatever's there was, was laden with injustice, okay? You feel like that was an unjust situation, so you don't want to do that. Yeah, I feel like right now your focus seems to be a lot on your family, on family mem uh I don't know if you're in family matters in some way. Dealing with your family, maybe assisting your family. Family seems to be really important for you right now at this time. Now, if this is a past lover, if this is your ex that's here, I can see also why you would not even be considering going back to the to the past. In fact, it, lo it looks to me like you ran far away from that as fast as possible. Okay. You're definitely trying to do you right now. These cards actually look really good to me because it looks to me like you have your head on straight. You're not really focused heavily on love. Maybe you're focused on self-love, but whatever you're doing... You're going to be getting ahead, I feel like, creatively and financially at this time. I do think you're going to have some options to consider that are going to require um, a decision for you. And you're going to have to take a leap, okay, in order to get it. So, But on it, it doesn't look like a problem to me. Look at all this. I mean, you just have so much good that's actually coming out in this reading. So whatever it is, it's going to end up well. So I wouldn't worry too much about whoever this is that's been trying to throw you off. And you know what? Maybe that's what they were doing before anyway, trying to dirt dig, trying to throw you off, trying to find anything to get you off course. But we see that you're continuing to climb. You're continuing to grow. And I think that is absolutely where your focus needs to be. Okay, just keep it there. And um, like I said, I think they feel like you beat them at their own game. And I would have to agree with that. I don't know what their game was, but looks toxic <laughs> it says dancing in the rainbow break free from whatever you feel is holding you back there you go express happiness find out what you truly desire so again this is part of that full energy too and also this eight of wands it's about moving forward it's about traveling it's about taking these risks here okay these new opportunities looking at your options here to figure out what it is that you really love what you really want to do where your focus needs to be okay and then I, it says connect to source. Wow. Go within to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. I absolutely love that. And that is right there in the energy. So I'd have to say you're probably already doing that. Um, again, spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, your light. This card literally says connect to source. So I feel like you're already doing that. And it's because of that that you're getting ahead at this time. So all right, Sag, love this. So um, I think I'm just going to leave it right there. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? Have a good night. Bye.